Hey guys, Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at all the Eastwood TIG welders. We're gonna break down what each machine can do, what they're used best for, what special features each welder has to make TIG welding as easy as possible, and ultimately, this video is gonna help you decide what welder you need, whether you're just getting started into TIG welding, or you're looking to up your game with a professional machine, this is the guide for you. So we're gonna be taking a look in the four welders today. The 200 DC, the 200 AC DC, the TIG 200 AC DC digital, and the MP250i. There's a couple of things these machines all have in common, so we'll start there. First, these are gonna come with everything you need. Torch, regulator, foot pedal, grounding clamp, and most of these have some collet bodies, collets and tungsten included as well. So really, other than some safety gear, argon and some filler rod, you'll be all set. Now, some of the more expensive machines do get upgraded accessories, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Secondly, all these machines are true DC high frequency start TIGs and are not scratch start, so that is very, very nice. And lastly, all these machines come with a solid three-year warranty through Eastwood. So let's kick things off with our most budget-friendly option. That's gonna be the Eastwood TIG 200 DC. If you're looking to get your foot in the door, this is a great option. As the name implies, this will let you TIG weld at an amperage ranging from 10 to 200 amps. One thing that's a nice feature is that this can operate on either a 240 or a 120 volt outlet with a supplied adapter. Keep in mind, your max voltage will be reduced to 145 amps on a 120 volt, but you don't need a 240 in the garage in order to start TIG welding, which is a great feature for the beginner. The duty cycle is a very impressive 60% at 190 amps, this unit is also relatively small at 16.9 by 7.3 by 12 and weighs in at a very light 18 pounds, which makes it great to bring to a buddy's house, to the track, or to the work site. Now, as far as accessories, this has the standard WP17 style torch, a more basic style foot pedal for amp control, a basic diaphragm style regulator, a grounding clamp, a few collets, collet bodies, and some tungsten even comes in this kit as well. The TIG 200 DC keeps the barrier to entry into TIG welding as low as possible, and it can weld all the way up to quarter inch steel and stainless. So a great starter, portable welder. Moving up in price, the next one doesn't cost that much more, but it's gonna come with a bunch of extras you definitely will want. This is the TIG 200 AC DC. This is pretty much the same thing, but the big selling point is that this can flip over to AC, so it can also weld aluminum. Again, this will work on either a 120 or 240 outlet, so great for the beginner. And the duty cycle is gonna be the same, 60 at 190 amps. Now, since this adds AC, it is gonna be a little bit bigger, not as mobile as the other options. It measures in at 18 inches long, 8.4 inches wide, and 20 inches tall, and it's gonna come in at a weight of 39 pounds. This does include some additional switches off to the side for aluminum welding. You do have some rocker switches for going between AC for aluminum, DC for steel, and stick functionality. There's also a clearance effect knob to adjust your electrode positive or electrode negative, and this has adjustable pre-flow and post-flow as well. This can go anywhere between 1 tenth and 1 second for pre-flow, and anywhere from 2 to 8 seconds for post-flow, while the regular TIG 200 DC is stuck at 0.5 and 5 for pre and post. So a little extra adjustability there. The ACDC also gets some very nice accessory upgrades. The TIG torch is similar, but this one is a flex head, so you can get more comfortable with this than the static head torch. The torch also has a gas lens kit already installed, cleans up a little gas turbulence, save you some money, and it's gonna make the gas easier to control. You also get a more accurate rotometer medical style regulator, but the biggest upgrade is the foot pedal. This is gonna be a rocker style foot pedal, so much more comfortable. You could rest your whole foot on there instead of holding your toes in the air like you would with the other pedal. This is a huge upgrade and it's very nice. It's all metal with rubber feet on the bottom too so it doesn't slide around. For those about to weld aluminum, we salute you. The 200 ACDC is gonna be your best bet. Now, we're getting fancier. This is the king of the Eastwood TIG machines, the TIG 200 ACDC Digital. This takes what's great about the regular ACDC and adds all the functionality you could ever want for professional TIG welding. You can see just how chock full of settings that front panel is. You get a very fancy digital control readout with plenty of adjustments. There's 2T and 4T cruise control modes, 
precise pulse setting adjustments, AC frequency control, high frequency or scratch start TIG modes, a spot weld timer, ramp up and ramp down capabilities, and the memory to store up to 20 presets with this machine. You could also just as easily jump between AC, DC, arc or spot weld modes, and the foot pedal or torch trigger control modes. This also includes the high quality accessories, the flex head torch, gas lens kit, rocker pedal, and the rotometer style regulator. So all in all, everything you need to really get the most out of your TIG machine, you can set this up exactly how you need it to be to get those perfect stack dimes every time. The duty cycle is lower. This is rated at 25% at the full 200 amps, but this will go to 100% duty cycle at 100 amps. That reduced duty cycle is probably down to this being a smaller size, but while we're on the topic of size, this has all those features and can do aluminum welding and keeps the size nice and small, way smaller than a regular 200 ACDC. It is a little heavy at around 40 pounds, but this is packaged into a smaller 18 and a half long, 13 inches tall by eight and a half inch wide package. So this is a great choice for anyone that's looking for professional aluminum welding that's also easy to move around. Now, last but certainly not least, we do have a bit of an oddball here. This is the MP250i. Now, this is a multi-process welder, so this combines together MIG, TIG, and ARC into one to give you the most versatile machine. We do have other multi-process machines, of course, but this one, the MP250i, is the only machine that features true DC TIG with high frequency start. The other smaller MP machines, they're only scratch start, and therefore, they don't make this list. This is capable of making arc welds in up to half inch steel and stainless, MIG welding up to half inch steel plate, welding aluminum up to a quarter inch with the optional spool gun, and of course, this does TIG weld, and it'll do it in thicker material than any of the other welders we offer. While the others top out at a quarter inch for TIG welding, this could do all the way up to three eighths of an inch, and that is gonna be down to this machine having a higher maximum amperage at 250. This comes with all three torches for MIG, stick, and TIG, all of which has really nice 12 foot long cables. The welder is downright massive, but it does have built-in wheels and there's also room for two shielding gas bottles so you can keep your MIG and TIG shielding gas hooked up at all times, allowing you to almost instantly hop between whatever welding function you want. And that's where this machine really shines. Press the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Make sure you check out our channel. We post tons of great content, including a lot of videos about TIG welding. So you're gonna wanna check that out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Joe. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.